Hey there, Wargamers, Justin here on Paint here, and today I want to talk about some third party proxy units. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that like and subscribe. And uh, with that said, let's jump right into it. Today, I want to talk about third party units, um, what options are out there, and uh, get some feedback from you guys about things that you might use. Um, this is a little bit biased because a lot of this is things that we make at Death Ray Designs that I have access to, and maybe you guys aren't aware, maybe you are, uh, but I want to talk about it today. So um, let's get into that. So first and foremost, the bread and butter, uh, one of the most popular units at Death Resigns is our, our infantry. Um, there's a few options out there in the market. I know some people use CAV. Um, the scale on CAV is a little bit bigger than ours. Ours is a little bit closer to um, probably the, the actual true like Battletech scale, somewhere in there. Uh, but the CAV stuff works too. So this is one of our standard infantry units. I like to do it on the, the leaner side. Um, you could have more than five on a base because uh, our, our, our sprues come with a whole bunch. But um, I like to do four or five because it doesn't keep it cluttered and I could put tufts or something like that on there. And if you put like eight to 10 dudes on it, it's just so many models and it just, eh, it's too much for me. So, um, but yeah, this is one of the infantry things from Death or Designs. And I'd be curious, what are you guys using for infantry? And if you aren't, why aren't you? Like, what are your thoughts? What do you like to do with your models? Um, Moving forward, uh, if you guys watched my video talking about threat projection, there are things you might want to do with infantry. How do you get them into the fight? We have little like various transports. And I feel like these, these are common. I feel like infantry are difficult, um, but I feel like transport units and stuff um, are very common on the third or secondary market, uh, third party bits, which is like what we're making. So, uh, but you have like various types of transports. Um, that one's just gonna be some type of APC. Uh, this one is gonna be I think we, this is a good proxy for the Maxim. And I was working on the these units a while ago and there's a little bit of um, glue on this. It's making it difficult to uh, mount the turret. So let me trim that off a little bit. Okay, there we go. Boom. So um, this would be a good approximation of a Maxim uh, hover transport. Pretty good, uh, pretty good option for deploying infantry. This is from Death Resigns as well. Um, and we've also got um, a Karnov. Um, now, this is the official Karnov, and this is our Condor, which is a good approximation. Um, it's a, a bit bigger, but similar type of shape and uh, kind of Osprey sort of setup. So if you want to use an air unit to deploy your infantry, you got something like that. Um, and finally, in regards to the infantry transports, we have uh, the Goblin transport vehicle or transport tank. Uh, this is the official metal one. I'm not as big of a fan of it. It's kind of not amazing. I mean, some of these old metals, this one's from the mold says from 1997. So the Goblin tank, um, kind of, kind of old and dated, um, the detail the details on it aren't super amazing. It also is very old design, so I, I get it. It's over 20 years old. Uh, but here is the Death Ray Designs uh, Herbold tank, which is a good approximation of a uh, a Goblin tank. Similar similar shape, not exact. Um, you know the offset turret and, and whatnot, but good approximation of another type of transport for your infantry. So we've got a couple of a uh, couple of options from the the secondary market, and here's the the official ones uh, for comparison. Uh, and in regards to uh, infantry transports, what are you guys using? Like uh, or and infantry? Like sound off in the comments below. It's okay if you share links to other stuff that aren't aren't Death Redesigns. We love seeing other things. I've bought non Death Redesign stuff before, and I've got a few things that Death Redesigns um, makes that we don't sell that we make for Ares miniatures as well. So um, I'm always just curious to see what people are doing in the community or if they're using some of our stuff and we didn't know, or maybe they're using some of our stuff and they didn't know that I work for that company. Um, and I also think that it just gives us a way to talk about it and expose you guys to different units um, and different unit types you may not have considered. Uh, one of the other things that Death or Designs does, I think this is our Dante um, little hover, hover vehicle, shoot stuff. Um, you were to mount it on the base, put like a little puck or something under it to elevate it a little bit. It sits on a base. I should have grabbed stuff that wasn't blacked out, but a lot of these are for my uh, clan wolf or my wolf dragoons, and they're black and gray, and I'm on a black and gray mat. So, um, 
I forget what this one could be good for. This is our Zibbler Invader Z, or no, this is Invader Z1. Is it supposed to, or is it, is it good to count as a Zibbler? Let me Google this, Zibbler. Uh, nope. Zib? Uh, Z-I-B-L-E-R, Zibbler Fast Strike Tank. Um, yeah, okay, okay. So this is our um, uh, Invader Z1, which is a good approximation of a uh, Zibbler. It's a little different, um, but we got the quad barrel. The Zibbler's got four barrels and got rockets, so very similar. Um, there are a few good units for this. This is also kind of a Dark Age era thing. Um, let, me, let me pick one. Let's grab the Prime. Um, it has Omni. That's interesting. It's Omni, and it's used by Inner Sphere? It's Inner Sphere Omni? Oh, hey, okay, in the Ill Clan, the Ill Clan, uh, the, some of the clanners get it. Um, Wolf's Dragoons get it during the Dark Age, too. Interesting. So this variant I'm looking at, the Zibbler Fast Strike Tank, the Prime, 3 TMM, 16-inch move, 45 points. It's got C3. I'm not a big fan of that because you have to plan to use it. But it's a 440, it's got eight life. That's not too bad. Uh, and the fact it's got Omni means that it can you can use it to deploy um, battle armor and stuff that can ride on the outside of it. That's pretty nifty, actually. Um, let's see what the the D variant is. Still usable by Dragoons. It's a little cheaper, less damage, though. Um, drops down by two damage. But, uh, yeah, you don't not, not paying the tax for that. Oh, nope, that's got C3 too, man. Yeah, who knows, um, but a good approximation of uh, a couple of hover vehicle options or hover tank options um, from the uh, um, for Battletech. I'm not sure what this one would be, but another little hover option. It's a little different than our Maxim. This one's got like a little uh, SRM thing on it, and this one does not. This one's meant to be more of a, um, I think, light or tra lighter transport, and it's got a cool little Gatling on it. I really like the Gatling. Pew, 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 pew. So, got that. Um, and then moving on from the hovers, we got a couple of VTOL options. Um, we've got the Nabil. Uh, I proxy this as a variety of different helicopters in uh, Battletech um, because making the rotors out of uh, resin that are the flat long ones just is tough. Um, these are a little easier, and so I proxy it as a, a couple of different um, um, lighter uh, uh, helicopters. And then we got like VTOL type stuff. This one's cool. This is our Maverick. Um, probably a little bit small for like aerotech stuff, but pretty good approximation of um, um, some of the uh, the VTOLs in the game. And it comes with like these have little mounts for flight stands that come with as well. And I feel like there's a lot of options for stuff like this in the secondary market. Uh, if Dave Alsager, if he's watching this, he's probably familiar with a lot more units than I am. Um, LRM carrier is pretty popular. Um, oh man, I don't have one of our Bodkins, the Hunter, uh, or a good approximation for Hunter. That's a good one too. Uh, but here's a good LRM carrier. This is our Monarch. Pretty basic. I mean, it's got a bunch of rockets on it, right? Um, and from us, I'm not don't want this to be a huge infomercial because I want you guys to 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 talk about like the units you use and what companies that you go through and what you know models you like. If they're not official, if they're official, that's cool too. Um, but uh, I think these are two for 15 from DRD, which is a really good deal considering these metal ones are like, I think 10, $12 a piece. Um, so this is a pretty good deal. But yeah, it's a good approximation for an LRM carrier. And we've got a couple of small uh, tanks as well. I cannot remember what this is a good uh, count as, like a Myrmidon or something uh, as a good proxy. Um, but yeah, a little light, light tank. And then we've got our bigger tank, which is good for like being like a demolisher or a bulldog. Um, ours are called uh, uh, Churchill is the main one that I remember from my head. The other two are looting me. It's been a long day at work. So um, these are also uh, in various stages for my Mercs, which have uh, their blue, red, uh, blue, red, purple, and green, depending on what attachment they are. These are the blue ones. And then we've got one of our larger tanks, which is really cool. Um, this one's eluding me too, but it's from Death Ray Designs as well. I really like the turret on it. It's very cool. It's chunky and big. Um, and there's a variety of like 100 ton tanks in Battletech that this could reasonably be a good approximation for. Um, and I really like the kind of snub nose guns on the front. So I dig that. Um, and last but not least for the third party uh, or secondary market, uh, parts, bits, units that I've got here. I've got two um, here. We make a few more things, but two that I've picked up from uh, work that... Um, our uh, models we make for Ares. I believe this is the Dugite. It's their chunky boys, a big ass tank. I mean, it's huge. It makes our other one look pretty, 
pretty small um, but I really like it the tri barrels are really cool and this is from Aries uh, this is in my uh, on the docket for I think it's my Mercs to paint up I just have not gotten around to it um, but Derek from Aries uh, worked with us and he got um, uh, had some TRO art made and uh, commissioned uh, Austin to do the 3D design and then we manufactured them. So uh, we also did his Banshee 2C, which is probably one of the most popular um, things we've ever made anybody um, from our perspective. And then this one is one of his like LRM or SRM carriers. I don't think this is the Kefira, but for some reason I keep thinking it's a Kefira. Let me actually Google that real quick. Aha, the Kefira. The Kefira is their hover vehicle. This is the Naja or Naha, N-A-J-A. Um, two pack, 15 bucks, really good deal. Um, but I've got a couple of these and these are meant for, I believe my Wolf's Dragoons to be like my LRM carriers because it looks so interesting. That's so cool. Like I think our LRM carrier, it looks, um, more, uh, in line with the official like battle tech, but this one, this one right here. Yeah. This, this really cool. I like it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'd mostly this is a little bit of a show and tell today, guys. Um, really didn't have much of a rhyme or reason i just kind of want to talk about um third party uh options and see what you are into now i am aware there are a billion different 3d print stls out there um, but i'm more interested in uh the physicals in particular because not everyone's got a printer obviously i do but for people who are picking up products um physical products and um trying to proxy something or just like the look of it what are the things you use? What companies do you go through? I know that there are Stratos Miniatures who's got some cool stuff, Hardware Studios, um, and I'm sure some other ones that are eluding me right now, but there's a variety of them out there, and I'm curious what you guys are into, uh, or if you have some of these, or you didn't know about this and now you're interested. Um, in either case, please sign off in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what units you use, what proxies you use, or if there's a variant of these here that you would proxy as something else other than what I said, what do you think that they would, good, would be uh, good approximations for? On that note, as always, if I don't start my sign off here today, I will continue to ramble. If you want to help support what I do, check the description down below. Death Ray Designs, Monument Hobbies, if you want to get pick up some of the stuff we make or some paints. And if you're looking for anything Battletech at all, check out Fortress Miniatures and Games. As always, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for hanging hanging out. Thanks for giving me the motivation to try and put out videos and help cast a light in the darkness to bring people into Battletech. Thank you again. I will catch you guys uh, hopefully after you've painted some models, after you've rolled a little bit of dice. And next time, I will catch you <laughs> next time.